tip number 31, include page number in schematic page name. This is what I mean. If uh, in your project you have more schematic pages, like you can see here, 30 schematic pages, what you may want to do, you don't have to do it, okay? What you may want to do is you may want to use page number in the schematic page name. Like you can see here, for example, yeah? DDR3 memory schematic page of the processor starts with the number 3 because in my project it is page 3. How this can be useful, do you know? Many times when uh, you use a CAD system, I'm not sure if it is if this is in every CAD system, but I know it is in Altium, I know it is in Orcad. When you create a project and you name the schematic pages like this, you will see something like this. Yeah, you will see all the pages in your project and you nicely see the page numbers of every schematic page. And uh, I was speaking a little bit about how I use these numbers in the tip uh, about the port numbers, like here, yeah? So, for example, if I need to go on the page 10, I just simply see this is the page 10, I just go there, yeah? I didn't come up with this idea. I, uh, I think I saw it on an Intel schematic and I found it very useful. So I decided to use it and uh, since then I use it in all our projects because, uh, you know, as I said, it's useful. It's very comfortable, it's very easy and quick way how you can browse uh, between pages of your schematic, especially if the schematic has a lot of or many pages. These uh, schematic page numbers they can be also used in a PDF. For example, if you generate a PDF schematic from Altium, this is what you may see. Yeah, it adds bookmarks. And the bookmarks, they are based on the uh, schematic page names. So again, you can very nicely see where are individual pages of your schematic located. So again, if you would like to browse through the PDF schematic, and you would like to go on the page number 10, you can simply just go page number 10. Yes, you can use these numbers here, yeah, and you can write it there, but this is very easy and very quick, very comfortable. Maybe this is not uh, the huge, huge, huge tip, okay? It is tip. It is useful tip, which, uh, as I say, you don't have to use it, but, you know, if you are creating schematics for other people or if you are if you would like to create schematics which are kind of different or better than the standard schematics this is one of the tips which you may want to use and you know uh, creating something really good is a lot about uh, details about small stuff so this is one of the small thing which can build your schematic better and different from all the other people. Don't forget tip number 31 include page number in schematic page name. Why? It helps you quickly jump to the right page.